Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. My apologies, still no webcam, but Guillotine's update is out. New updates out, so Guillotine's buff is live, is what I meant to say. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at rank 4 5 star six two hundred Guillotine and how she fares pre and post buff. And this first fight will actually showcase one of the bigger weaknesses that a lot of people overlooked about pre-buffed Guillotine. And that is the simple fact that... Um, here without synergy team without liquid courage without double edge she just does not deal enough damage at rank 4 level for this helpful to maintain her souls or increase her soul count and that is a significant weakness which will also kind of skew the results of an actual damage output of a champion therefore i will do additional fight against an act 6 uh, superior iron man just to kind of compare the fights where she actually can gain salt but i did want to leave this clip in and the stats in here as well because it is a weakness that old guillotine did have no matter how much we'd like to forget that it is there if you're going to use guillotine against an opponent with too big of a health pool and if you're unable to damage them quickly enough you will not be able to maintain your soul count that means that your healing abilities will not work as well and that also means that your critical damage rating will not get increased which is quite important and therefore by extension this fight's actually quite long this is probably the longest guillotine fight that i have ever had and i know for a fact that should i be using liquid courage double edge i would be finishing this fight out a lot quicker but it is important nuance that i wanted to showcase here towards the end of the fight we can see that it has been quite long fight we are 350 hits in the fight is going to finish at 366 hits and that is quite a lot of hits and it also showcases a definite downside of pre-buffed guillotine that we do have to acknowledge, which the buff is going to fix. But as I said, we're going to be taking a look at a fight in Act 6. We have Power Struggle node here, but generically here are no attack multipliers, nothing to mess with our bleed. We still have the class advantage as well. And here we will be able to gain souls. And we're going to see that obviously the numbers are going to be different and the fight speed is going to be different here big because of it. So this is going to be the second fight metric that I'm going to be using against the buffed guillotine. And by all accounts, she's doing much better here because her souls are increasing because we are able to damage the opponent quickly enough. The plan is to get to level two in order to hopefully reverse the regeneration but in order to do that i now need to act very quickly and inflict plenty of damage on this uh, superior iron man which happens right now unfortunately the duration of the heal reversal isn't quite there but it should have been around 50 hit fight because i messed up a bit it's 54 still 54 hits now we're going to compare that against the buffed guillotine so first fight without synergies and uh, i well, it's fairly easy to understand how guillotines played, so there is no real learning curve involved. I think I do misuse one special attack at the beginning without first dropping the heavy attack. But after this first special attack, the uh, rest of them should be followed by heavy attack with that bleed curse active for those guaranteed bleeds, like right here. And other than that, she's fairly straightforward to use. I'm going to be going for level 3 as well at some point. But the first thing that I immediately notice that is annoying using Guillotine by herself now, and it is going to be even more annoying when you synergize Guillotine up, is that she actively eats up almost all your souls. Those special attack, well, special bonuses, they take away 10 souls. And new buffs Guillotine has her attack rating increased for each soul. And that means that attack rating bonus is constantly in flux, and it's hardly ever at its peak potential. And I'm really, really not a fan of that. And uh, even more with synergies, there are certain synergies with like uh, Night Rusher and I think uh, a few more that, uh, well, the soul count is important because you gain more bonuses, more benefits from having the synergies, not just Guillotine's base, base attack increase, but also like, you know, critical rating, which helps you crit more, which helps you put more bleeds on. And the fact that you consume these souls is not great you do gain them a lot faster though but if you want to freely keep using your special attacks there will be plenty of moments when you are with one two zero souls and stuff like that i don't like that i don't like that much 
the fight overall is going quicker in this one example this is pretty much the one example i think where you can gain some you know some moderate damage increase and that is only because pre-buff guillotine could not gain souls and stuff so this fight is about to be finished up in 248 hits it is significantly less than 360 it would be like a 50 percent damage increase because our hit counter has gone down by about 50 percent or 33 percent depends how you look at it 33 percent i think either way it, it is increased in this one situation but if we take a look at these fights against superior iron man i'll have two fights this first fight is not the most successful because i don't manage to get my level two off in order to heal reverse and the first fight is going to be i believe 57 hits and the second fight, where pretty much everything's going to go perfect, is going to be 47 hits. So both of those scores fall right around the same mark as it used to be. It used to be 54 in the first attempt there. Now it was 57 and 47. Even assuming the best case scenario that 47 would reflect her true damage, the actual damage difference for unsynergized guillotine is slim it really is slim there's hardly any difference in damage for unsynergized guillotine in your standard average fight where guillotine pre-buff was able to gain salt so i'm gonna let this fight play out and then we're gonna take a look at the juicier parts where we use synergized up guillotine we can see here that and just dash away and the fight's about to be over and uh yeah 47 hits so even if this would be a true reflection which it really isn't because this fight went better than either one of the ones before there is very little difference in actually using guillotine damage wise without synergies but now let's take a look at synergized guillotine Synergized guillotine with purgatory. Oh, sorry, this is going to be another point for the last bit of the video. So let's take a look at synergized guillotine with purgatory, with night rusher. And I think there was like Gamora and Morningstar, and then slightly different synergy team afterwards because some of the synergies have been changed. But night rusher and purgatory synergies are in place, and those two are the most important ones. So here we can see that thanks to the extra damage and thanks to the Gamora synergy as well that allows me to gain soul every 10 seconds when I am striking a bleeding opponent and my soul is having to expire later. Plus I gain ability to have critical bleeds and I also gain increased critical rating for each of the capture souls that I have thanks to Night Rusher synergy. This fight is already going significantly quicker but guillotine is kind of like a pride train once she gets going the more soul she has with this energy the more damage she deals because in her base kit she used to have critical damage increase based on souls which is replaced by attack increase then obviously the synergies still significantly help to increase the damage and uh, the biggest thing that's changed the biggest thing that's changed obviously is level three in any fight where you could accumulate souls no matter how underpowered guillotine was the level three was and is the great equalizer i think in fact after this point i think i'm going to be building up to level three well quite shortly anyways and finishing the fight off with that we can see that already we have solid amount of bleeds going on for guillotine uh, whenever we do bleed health is pretty much always at 99 or 100 percent and uh yeah at 94 hits the winter soldier is still at 56 percent but very very soon that is going to be rectified because if you deal two percent damage to your opponent for each soul that you have at this point i have 15 souls it means i can deal 30 percent of his hp as direct damage with the level three that means i don't have too much left to actually just go in for the finishing kill with my level three which is exactly why am i building up to it right now so i can see that 17 souls with the soldiers at 40 uh 40 percent 18 souls pretty much at this point somewhere now i should have had enough for whatever reason he's still going to survive so we can see that nice big level three damage three percent remaining on him this level three did 
hundred and something K damage, and the fight's pretty much over. I'm just gonna strike him a couple more times. So with synergy team pre-buff, 137 hits. Let's check it out with synergy team post-buff. Obviously, we do not have the great level three equalizer anymore. And I'll buy some of the base numbers, might be slightly better. We can see that the bleed in itself definitely is <laughs> the bleed is ticking for like 150, 160. And previously we definitely had significantly better bleeds overall. And uh, now we're gonna go in for that heavy into a level two, which obviously is quite nice bleeds there. We are dealing, you know, some okay damage, but can we out damage guillotine rebuff? Can this new guillotine out damage guillotine pre buff with full synergy teams? And the answer is no. <laughs> no, she can't. Um, I, I used that level three there at some point as well. 138 kids here finish up at 143. So it used to be 137. So slightly, it's not a huge difference. It's not a huge difference. We can say that the damage output is relatively equal to how it used to be. I like to think, well, previously she did the fight seven hits less, but still. Uh, 137, 143, uh, sorry, six hits less. 137 and 143 is not a huge difference. So the damage output effectively has stayed the same pretty much whichever way we slice it, with the one exception that I showed in the beginning. Assuming that overall damage output is the same for the vast majority of the fights, is this really a buff or not? And for that, we're going to be checking out the healing. For that, we're going to be checking out the healing. So you can see that in this fight, I started the fight with 13%. This is pre buff, pre buff guillotine with her synergy team. And I started out basically at 13% health. Let's see how long does it take for me to get to full health. You can see already 20 hits in, at, I'm at 27%. Not too bad, dropping another level one, slowly but surely accumulating those souls. So 34 hits in, still at 27%. Let's just rush forward, see what happens here. Nice chunk of heal, puts me up to 36. 39. Let's just go for a few more combos. So 50 hits in. I have healed up. 38%, you know, solid. Now to 50. Nice. And now all of a sudden 55. 58. So let's see how hits it takes to heal full. Oh, is that 84? And there we go. 77 hits. 77 hits was it that took me from 13% to 100%. So I healed 87% whilst dealing 32% damage to Captain Marvel, leaving her at 62. And guillotines at 100%. 87% health healed. Let's see how she heals after her buff. Given the damage has stayed relatively the same with or without synergy teams. How is her heal? So I didn't start with 13% in this fight. I started with 25% because it didn't matter. Because I knew that the results are what the results are going to be. Not to waste your time too much. I'm going to fast forward to the mark of 77 hits. So here we are, 77 hits, and you have healed 20%. Previously, we healed 87%. So in this particular fight, her healing is effectively four times worse than it was. Four times. The healing has been absolutely nerfed to the ground. 
the entire fight the entire fight hundred and forty five hits hundred and forty six hits you have healed up to seventy four percent health that you healed forty nine percent for the entire fight the healing quite quite literally used to be four times more effective. And on top of that, just like as a funny final insult, because I find very little funny about calling this a buff, the fight was shorter as well, 128 hits, 129 hits here, and it was 140 something here. So there we are. Is Guillotine buffed? No, I don't think so. He has gotten fairly situational and likely irrelevant piece of utility, and uh, she has lost part of her identity. Her damage output is, by all uh, means, pretty much the same. Not much has changed. I don't know, 5% plus, 5% minus, something like that. But her healing used to be four times as potent as it is right now. So no. I don't think guillotine has gotten buffed. I don't think that it is a remotely good enough of a job for a casual moderate buff, let alone overhaul, let alone community choice buff. It's just shit. I would genuinely prefer the old guillotine with more potent heal, similar damage, and a truly unique special three. I would 100% prefer old guillotine over this new one. Let me know what you guys think though. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about 